let's start with what we know for sure. Let's just start with what we know for sure. What we know is there was an altercation involving Mane and Sane. Mane obviously physically assaulting Leroy Sane. And as a result, Mane has been suspended for the next game and he won't even be in the squad for Barnes' next game against Hoffenheim. This is what we know to be a fact. This is a fact. So that is undisputable. He's out of the squad. He's been fined and he's been sus sus suspended. And he's obviously apologized for what he, he did. So we don't know that for a fact. Now, this is where it gets tricky because this is where it just gets crazy. We need to stress allegation, allegation, allegation. These are just rumors. This is just a report. And you must take this with six grains of salt because this is coming from Leroy Sane's brother. So apparently the reason why Leroy Sane acted like that and physically assaulted Leroy Sane like that is because apparently Leroy Sane called Sadimani a black S-H-I-T. So we don't know whether this is true. This hasn't been proven. And I am not going to be one of those guys that said, oh my God, Larissa, what the hell? Boom. So, no, 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 no. But I'm trying to just do logical deduction here. And when you're trying to do logical deduction here, you have to just, you know, break things down. Has Sandio Mane ever physically attacked someone before? He's been angry. Remember for Liverpool um, with Salah and so forth because he didn't feel Salah was passing to him? Boom. He was angry. How we had a history of Sadimani being very physical towards people. Correct me if I'm wrong. Comments, correct me if I'm wrong. So my logical deduction is he had to have said something to produce such a reaction. Because Sadimani, who we know is does not is not a naturally violent person. He's not a naturally aggressive person. He's not somebody who he's not like he nil Razor Roddock, do your Google. It's not like, like Neil Roddock because Neil Roddock was a guy who literally got into fights all the time. So he had to have said something to trigger that kind of a response. We're not dealing with a Lee Boyer here. We're not dealing with a Neil Razor Roddock here. We're dealing with a Sadio Mane who isn't as aggressive with a short temper as those guys who have a very low temperament. So we're in a very sticky situation here because. As much as I don't want to say Leroy Sani, there's no he said that, blah, 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 and so forth. There is, there is a chance he did because he must have said something. Because let's just, just use our logic here. Would Sadio Mane have said that if Leroy Sani said, man, you're so slow. Why can't you pass me the, the ball? Why can't you control the ball better? Why aren't you not making any runs? If it was football critique, it's a shouting match. <laughs> like what we saw between... Um, Becker and Henderson, it's a shouting match. If it's strictly football critic and so forth, oh, it's, it's a shouting match. Sometimes it could get into blows. Sometimes it could, based on how you've said things so cool. Now, here's, now let's be, be real, let me be fair here. It could still be football critique, but slightly offensive football critique that may trigger that kind of response. We've seen it in training grounds where people have like a, a football scuffle or so forth and they get into blows, but it's still mainly football. So I'm going to give him that. But you see, I'm just leaving the possibility that he said that. Not that he did. Not that it's proven that he did. Because again, this is coming from his brother and so forth. I'm just giving the possibility that he did. Because see, my thing here is, it's not as if man is going to lose his job. He's going to be out of ban and so forth. It's, it's, it's a suspension and so forth. And they've now moved on. Which is where it gets scary. Because if... Manny was seriously grossly in the wrong it could be a chance of like oh no this could be like a three four game five game suspension it could be even longer now so it leads me to believe that you still physically assaulted someone it is still a ban eunuch you still you still have to evoke discipline and i'm sure that there are um rules and guidelines of if you physically assault another teammate or another staff member you will get um you will get punished in, in such a way so boom they're following the protocol the reason why it is not even much more extensive is because they may say, okay, you, we still have to punish you because we have to follow the, the guidelines, but you are justified based on what was said. So my thing here is that this is where it just gets crazy. So 
because I'm just looking at all the different options. So one option is Loretani, which was mainly football critique, football critique that Mane took in a wrong way. He acted like that physically. That's the one angle that that is still a strong possibility. The other angle is okay. What if he said this? And this way it gets scary. <laughs> oh, this way it gets look at where it gets a little bit scary. Because if he said this, we're going into a very scary situation that I'm not sure. You see, it's a kind. It's you see, if he said this, this is a discussion that really only black people understand. So again, it's not me trying to be like you know, anti any other race, but only if you're black or mixed race can you understand the kind of conversation that we're going into. Again, let me stress again, if. We don't know what was said. I have to stress if, 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 if. We don't know for sure. I am just giving you different possibilities. I've given you one alternate timeline. I'm giving you the other alternate timeline. So in this timeline, if he did say this. So my thing is, Leroy Sane, you're a mixed race. Now, this is what I've said before with people and so forth. When people say, no, no, if you're mixed race, you're black. Yes, if you're mixed race... The world tells you you're black, but you're not black. You're half white, half black, or you're half black. But in most cases, and I'm sure in Lira Sanin's case, you're half white, you're half black. So an expert aspect of you is half white. So you are not black, <laughs> you know, because it would be pretty crazy if, let's say, um, Turam called Drogba a black SHIT. Now, that would be weird because okay, you're both black. But... Why this is crazy is like, hey, Laura Sani, you understand the dynamics of the world you're in. You understand the, the, the dynamics of the world that you're living in and how the world perceives you. So for your brain to go into that element of calling a guy who looks similar to you from, I think, the same opera, because I think San, I think he's from Senegalese um, roots, judging from the name. I'm just assuming. Maybe I'm wrong. It's pretty wild for you to now go there and call him a black S H I T. <laughs> you know, because he this because because it's see it's because at guys it is a very complicated thing because you could say it's an element of that being racist, but at the same time you're half black, so it's an element of racism and self hate, but it's also an element of Leroy Sunny. How do you see yourself? Do you actually see yourself as black? Or you may see yourself as black or maybe a much more acceptable black person than a Sadimane. Remember, Sadimane, he's dark-skinned. The rest of it, you're light-skinned. So you being light-skinned, perhaps you see yourself as much more accepting in this society than, let's say, a Sadimane who is darker-skinned. So you see, what we, see, we're going into very... Because that's my thing. Because this, if he said this stuff, there are so many different elements of like... It's not as simple as the rest of it, man. That's such a horrible racist thing to say. It's like, Leroy Sane, I would have a discussion to you and just say, okay, how do you perceive yourself? Because here's be real. Because if you're mixed race, I'm sure the most mixed race people, if you're mixed race, a lot of mixed race people that I know, they see themselves as black. All the mixed race people that I know, they see themselves as mixed race. Now, when you're mixed race, you can't be white. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's 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 the very racist one drop rule. You can't be perceived as white. But for mixed race, you have two choices. So someone like a oh gosh, what's the name of this rapper? Logic. The rapper logic. See, the rapper logic is mixed race. And he sees himself as mixed race. And he lives his life as being mixed race. Not black, not white, but a mixed race. But there are a lot of other mixed race people, like let's say AJ Cole, my podcast buddy, um Danny T who they're mixed race, but they see themselves as black. And they live and they operate themselves as being black. So, and so if Silver Sunny said, no, no, I'm mixed race, I'm not black and everything. I'm like, cool. <laughs> but you saying that, you have to understand, because that's why I just say, if you're mixed race, it is, you're, you're living in such a crazy kind of world you're living in, because it's like, technically you are mixed race. And you should promote yourself as being half white and half black. And what I've always said is, let me actually to quote my brother, my older brother, who said, the existence of people who are mixed race is to show the absolute absurdity of racism. Because if someone is half black, half white, you can't pigeonhole them. 
You can't label them. I'm half white, half black now. What? I'm not black. I'm not white. I'm half white, half black. So this racism thing is freaking stupid. Because <laughs> now we now have a combination of white and black. So now what? Now what? Oh, you're not going to now label me. Oh, okay. It's half white, it's half black. Oh, black. No. I'm half white, half black. I'm a bit of both. So this racism thing of black, white, brown, yellow, it's freaking stupid. <laughs> because we're all going to end up getting mixed up very soon. In a hundred, hundred, two hundred years time, mixed race people will be the dominant race over blacks and whites <laughs> in about a in about hundred years time. So, but yeah, that was just an interesting diversion there and so forth. I don't know whether you guys are interested. Look, it's, it's, a, it's, 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 it's an interesting one. But look, circling back, oh, man, Nick, man, wow. <laughs> so, when out against Freiburg. So basically, sacked Dangles man stupidly because he wanted to win the treble. Twinkle comes in. Hey, beats Dortmund. You're now out of the DFB poker by losing to Freiburg. You're pretty much already out of the Champions League losing 3 0 to Man City. And I, I have to now deal with this. A lot of L's in a short space of time for Bayern. Salih Hamzic and Khan hold this L. Hit the subscribe button over there, guys. Hit the subscribe button over there, guys. And check out the videos over there, guys. Peace.